Hello and welcome to this Dr. Rossmas key skill video on finding an angle in an isosceles triangle using angles on parallel lines. So you want to work out the value of x, this angle here. And we've got these two parallel lines because they both have an arrow like this, so those two lines in the same direction. And the only angle we know is this 79 degrees here. Now can you see that we've actually got corresponding angles here? So if I bold up some of these lines. We've got these two parallel lines here, and we've got a line that connects those two parallel lines. So do you remember how corresponding angles work? If I put my fingers like this on the 79, and I slide my fingers so that I'm now on the other parallel line, so I'm shifting from this parallel line to this parallel line, so I shift my hand, this angle will be the same as that 79. So this angle will also be 79 degrees, and you can sort of see visually that they're kind of the same angle. Now, we've got an isosceles triangle here, and remember an isosceles triangle has two lengths the same. So this double mark and this double mark indicate that these two lengths are the same. They might just have a single mark, and as long as they have the same number of marks, so they both have one mark or they both have two marks, then they're the same length. Now, remember how isosceles triangles work. If you put your two fingers on the marks, and then you slide your fingers away from each other, we get to these two angles here, which will be the same. So if this is 79, this is also 79. So we can mark this angle as 79. And then finally, well, the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So all we need to do is just add the 79 and the 79, the two angles that we do know, and that's 158 degrees. And then you take that away from 180 to get x. So x is 180 minus 158 which is equal to 22 degrees, and that is the final answer.